how do I determine if a person has asthma? Uh, asthma is a genetic disorder. You don't get asthma unless you carry a gene. Often there's a family history of having asthma, which is very important. Not always, but often. The second step is to define their symptoms. What symptoms are they having? There are four symptoms that are really cardinal or important for a person to have asthma. The first is a cough, wheezing, tightness in their chest or breathing, and shortness of breath. Now, not every person who has asthma has all four symptoms, but at some stage in the development of asthma, they'll come down with many of those symptoms. Sometimes it's simply a cough, and a chronic cough is what brings them in to see me. We'll see parents, mothers especially, who will bring in a child because of a chronic cough. It's been going on usually for weeks or months and uh, may be associated with many of these other symptoms. So we really begin that journey of, of diagnosis by talking about symptoms. And uh, once we've established they have a symptom that's consistent with asthma, then we'll uh, go through factors that aggravate it and factors that make it better. What seems to make it worse? If they run and play, if they get a cold or respiratory infection, if they're at school and they're out at recess on a polluted day, red burn day, and they tend to have more difficulty or trouble. If they hear their child in the other room coughing at night and the cough goes on and on incessantly, those are all settings in which asthma becomes even more likely. And then we do, depending on the age of the child, we'll do testing. Once we've established a likelihood and we've examined the child, but the exams are oftentimes quite normal because they're so episodic. Once we've examined the child, we'll do some testing with them. Now in children, there's a moderately high correlation between allergies and asthma. And so if a child, depending on their age, usually uh, for respiratory allergens above age three, we will have positive skin tests or allergies to uh, inhalants, things such as animals that might be in the home or molds or dust mites or feathers or pollens that are particularly present in spring or summer or fall. If the skin tests are positive and they have this chronic cough, then the likelihood they have asthma is quite high. In very young children, it becomes more difficult because we don't uh, have many of those triggers that we can clearly identify. And a real problem is often in an infant, uh, less than age one, who has recurring episodes of cough or wheezing, but are always occurring in the context of infections. Do they have asthma or are they just having recurrent infections and bronchiolitis? Again, if there's a family history of asthma or if they have these other symptoms, then it begins to unfold that that's the case. Uh, there are national standards for the diagnosis of asthma in small children. If one has a cough with wheezing, which is occurring four times a year or more than twice every six months in the context of a person who uh, responds to bronchodilators and who has positive allergy testing or blood cells that are consistent with asthma, then that diagnosis of asthma becomes more likely. So, but often we're left at the end of our evaluation not knowing for sure, especially in small children. And we will then treat them and watch them carefully, get them back, and see how well they respond to treatment. And usually we'll employ five to six weeks of therapy to see if they help. And if they do, uh, we then establish that diagnosis and away we go. Then we uh, begin treatment on a consistent basis and monitor uh, their response and see how well they do. In older children, it becomes a leisure because we can do a special test called spirometry. This is a breathing test, which we can usually begin to do, use at about age five or six. And uh, spirometry is a great help to us to identify those who have asthma. So the diagnosis of asthma is a difficult one They're in very small children, but uh, we usually get it right uh, when we employ all of these measures. And uh, the secret then is to get them on proper therapy. Therapy for asthma is really three things of, of identifying the triggers that they have and avoiding them. It's uh, employing proper therapy, medication, 
and uh, in some children, uh, immunotherapy or allergy shots as a way to try and lessen their allergic sensitivity to things that may be a problem for them.